All right, my friends, so let's get started with our pop art pumpkins inspired by Andy Warhol. So for supplies, you're going to need a piece of white paper, a pencil with an eraser, just in case you make a little mistake. You can grab a Sharpie and then anything that you can use to color. So it can be paint, um, markers, we have some crayons here, and even oil pastels, which is one of my favorite supply to use. So we're going to be making four pumpkins. So what you're going to do is you're going to fold your paper to get four boxes. So turn your paper horizontal, fold your paper over once, just as if you're making a small folder. And then from there, you're going to fold it over one more time, just like that. And once you open up your paper, you are going to have four different sections. What shape is this? It's not a circle, it's not a rectangle. Oh, yes it is, it's a rectangle. So now we have four rectangle shapes. Inside these shapes, we're going to make one pumpkin inside of each one. Now you're going to use a pencil in case you make a mistake. Mrs. Schultz is going to use a Sharpie just so that you can see how I make my pumpkin nice and bold, okay? So we're gonna start in the middle of any one of our rectangles. You guys choose which one you wanna start in, it does not matter. And what you're going to do is, you're going to start um, creating your pumpkin by making a long oval, okay? It doesn't quite look like a pumpkin just yet, but we're going to be creating our pumpkin in layers. So this is going to be the center of our pumpkin. From there, on both sides now, you're going to make a curved line up, bring it straight down, and you're going to close the bottom with another curved line. I'm gonna do that on both sides. Now it's starting to form the shape of a pumpkin. Almost looks like a hot dog in a hot dog bun. Do that one more time. We're building layers to create our pumpkin. Right? What are we missing here to make this a full pumpkin? How about we go ahead and we add a stem on top? And if you want, you can add a little bit of a vine. There we go, one pumpkin done. We're gonna do this three more times to get it on into each rectangle. So once your pumpkins are all drawn out with your pencil, remember I use the Sharpie so that you can see my pumpkins bold, but you use the pencil. Now I want you to put that pencil away and I want you guys to outline your pumpkins using either a crayon, an oil pastel, a Sharpie, or a marker. Choose a dark, bold color. It doesn't have to be black. You could use blue or purple. Each pumpkin can be a different color outline. It's up to you. You're the artist. Use your creativity. Now we're going to color those pumpkins in. I love oil pastels so much. Each pumpkin is going to be colored a different color. Now, I want you to keep something in mind. While you are coloring, I don't want you to go ahead and color over that outline of the pumpkin. So if you use the black Sharpie like me, don't let your oil pastel or crayon or other coloring supplies touch that black Sharpie, okay? It's okay that there's white space in between. Usually I want you to cover all that white space and I usually tell you that, but for this project, we wanna see some of the white space behind the pumpkin. It gives a nice distressed look. So that's okay if your, whatever you're using to color is not touching the outline, right? Once that pumpkin is done, go ahead and use that same exact color to color in your stem. You're going to do the same thing now for each pumpkin, but I want each pumpkin to be a different color. All right, so once all four pumpkins are colored in, now you're going to choose four different colors that you haven't used yet to color in the background. So for instance, blue, I'm going to use yellow for the background. Background is when something is behind. We're going to just use a solid color to really make those colors pop like Andy Warhol did in all of his artwork. Remember, this project is inspired by the artist Andy Warhol and his work of pop art. And once you finish one background, you're going to go ahead and do the other three using colors you have yet to use on your pumpkins, choosing a color that will make your pumpkin really shine bright and pop out, okay? And remember, it's okay that you're not 
coloring in over all the white space like I usually ask you to. We kind of want that distressed look, so it's okay if there's white space showing. Okay, my friends, so there you have it, some finished artwork with Mrs. Schultz. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget, this beautiful artwork is inspired by the artist Andy Warhol. I'm sure you did such an awesome job. Please ask your family to help you take a picture of your artwork and submit it to Mrs. Schultz so that I can post these in our online art gallery. Have a great day, everyone. Good job. Bye-bye.